o'clock. Huh? Huh? Oh. You going somewhere, 117? Hmm? No, I just thought I'd come out and get some fresh air. <laughs> With baseball equipment? Huh? Oh, oh, these? Oh, I just, uh... Well, K Kip said he thought he might want to borrow them. Well, I said I'd, uh, I'd bring them out here. Mm -hmm. Well, then we'll just put them down here. And uh, we'll go back in the house. One seventeen here doesn't seem to realize that the tyrant government goes to a great deal of trouble to work out these schedules, to make your lives happier and better regulated, to give you more time to think this over. We're sending into the dungeon. Dungeon? We're going to lock you in the garage. But, but wait, Come I... on! Oh, uh, 120. Just how do you propose to sneak out of the house at 6.30 to go to the hayride? How did you find out about that? Well, I might have informers right in your own group. <laughs> then, of course, we monitor all phone calls on the kitchen extension. Come on, 117. That, that, that's not fair. You have no right to snoop into our private lives. Private lives? What's that? Boy, I'm glad it's you, Mom. Thanks for letting me out. I'm not your mom, and I'm not letting you out. I'm just bringing you a dinner, 117. This is dinner? Crackers and water? If you want more, you may have seconds. Oh, and uh, here's your dessert. Cube of sugar? Lots of energy in sugar. Have a nice dinner. Jim, I feel awful the way we're treating them. I think I'm the one who's going to give in. No, don't do that. I feel as bad as you do. I'd like to have given in hours ago, but I feel this is the most important lesson these kids have ever had to learn. If our young people don't think enough of our way of life to try to preserve it, I, I shudder to think what's going to happen to America. But don't you think they've learned it by now? Evidently not. The worst part of it is we only have an hour and a half to go. I'm afraid I'm going to lose. Come on, let's go in and eat and think of something drastic. Something that'll really bring them around. I'm trying to sneak out again. Oh, they're getting ready to eat their dinner now. But, yeah, you should see what they're having. Thick steak, sweet corn, and strawberries. Oh, corn. cut it out, Cat. You're killing me. Now, listen. Here's the plan. We're all going to escape. Escape? Yeah. Well, wouldn't that be like giving up? No, no. Like you said, we're outwitting them. And this is what people in oppressed countries actually do. They either revolt or escape. Now, look. I'm going to the hayride. Now, Kathy's going to hide over at Patty's, and you hide somewhere, too. Now, hurry. Where can I hide? If we're not here, he can't work any of his tricks on us. But we'll come back at 8 o'clock, after our time is up, and collect our money. Oh, boy. Hey, yeah. Come on, let's get some rope. All right. Come on. Don't you know you can't hold a public meeting without asking me first? Well, all right, then, may we have a public meeting? No. Okay, back in the house. And, uh, if anyone leaves the house before 8 o'clock, that will be considered a sign that uh, you can't take it and are giving up. But, but wait, you're making up new rules. Naturally. I'm the one who makes the rules. New or old. Come on, in the house, on the double.
five minutes to go. We practically won. <laughs> yes, but I don't get it. He's let us just sit here for the last hour without trying a single trick on us. Uh, he's probably trying to wear us down with psychological warfare, but it's not working. <laughs> no, you can't possibly win now. Oh, here he comes now. Here to play with Trump cars. We'll keep on your guard. After all we've gone through the last 24 hours, just don't throw it away at the last minute. How are we getting along? Comfortable? Happy? Fine. Ah, what have we here? Cookies for our workers? Yes. Who'd like a cookie? Oh, no, Cass. What's in them? My heavens! You surely don't think we'd poison you? Well, no. I just want to see you and Dad eat one first. I'd love to. I don't see why you're so suspicious of such a benevolent government as mine. <laughs> ah. Delicious. Nothing's happening to him. Oh, what time's it? It's 8 o'clock. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> 18 more. Hey, like the old pocket. Hey, It says it's 8 o'clock. This clock says it's only 7. Oh, you, you can't do that. You, you can't turn the clock back. But, but, well, it's against the law. Tyrant land, I am the law. I make the rules, give the orders. Now, now, wait, that's not fair. It's not honest. You, you've taken away all our rights. This is going... Hold on, 120. You keep using such words as fair, honest, justice, right. Don't you realize we have no such words in tyrant land? The only thing that is right is what we decide is right. Any way that we attain our goals is perfectly justified. Do you understand? Oh, I give up. Hey, hey, no, way. no, no, I mean that. I wouldn't live under such a system for another five minutes. If I didn't have to. And thank heaven, I don't have to. Good for you, Betty. And I know we've lost, and we don't even have the money left to buy those bonds. Oh, don't worry, you'll get that back. And as free Americans, you can use the money any way you please. You don't think even for one moment I'd force you or anyone to buy savings bonds. Count me in, Father, I'll buy. And uh, I'm also volunteering right now to help you with that bond campaign. I, I never realized before what a, a wonderful thing we have here in America. And if there's anything I can do to help keep it that way. <laughs> Boy, I'm ready. Count me in on that, Dad. This is the worst 24 hours I've ever spent. I don't want any more like it. Me neither. Tell me what to do, Daddy. I'm ready, too. Uh, oh, it's wonderful to hear you talking this way. <laughs> And if you think you suffered going through this, we suffered twice as much making you do it. Oh, you can say that again. But it did the trick. And tomorrow I'll tell them I'm taking the bond job and that I have a fine crew solidly behind me. <laughs> oh, Betty, hurry up there and get your things. Why? Because Bud is going to drive you to this address to meet the hayride. The hayride? Why did you arrange Just this? hurry, because Bud has to meet Kippy to go to the movies. I do. <laughs> yeah, boy, oh, come on. <laughs> Patty wants you to go over to the slumber party tonight. Hot dogs and everything. Really? Oh, boy! <laughs> you know what? I sure love America. <laughs> well, so do we. And we love our family, too. Honestly, 